Virgo, welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. It's Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please do smash that like and subscribe button. Hi everyone in the chat. Please be mindful these are general love messages. I'm here every day, Sunday through Thursday, doing daily love messages for you. And then I am uh, here on Thursday. I do the weekend reading. So definitely join the channel. Um, and if you become a member of my channel here, you guys, you can get early access to my daily uploads. Okay. Um, what else do I need to say? Do I need to like roll out the intros here? Um, yeah, if you want to get extra messages, go over to my other channel, Moon Pie Tarot, where I do a daily collective read. All right, enough of this. Okay, let's get into your reading, Virgo. What are the energies going into the month of August? For love, what does Virgo need to know? Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus? Messages for Virgo. Okay, ooh, you're getting a love call. Someone's expressing their love. Expect your phone to ring, Virgo. A message of love, thinking of you, and letting you know. Okay, well, so far so good. <clears throat> Excuse me, let's see what else is going on here. Yep, <clears throat> I know some of you are like, nobody's calling my number. I got them blocked. Well, might be calling from an unknown number, might be calling from a friend's number. Um, they might be calling from a blocked number. Okay, it's, listen, look, listen, Virgo, it's a phone call. Okay, look at that old 80s phone, right? The old, <laughs> the wall phone. Okay, maybe somebody has a wall phone. There's, yes, definitely a love call coming in. Okay, let's see. Right. Oh, the Grim Reaper. The relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life and get the hell out of my life. <laughs> Virgo. <laughs> All right. So let's see. I don't know what's going on there. That's too com completely composing. Oh, oh, I was composing. I was going to say opposing. No, no. That I get it. Okay. Somebody's calling to tell you that they love you. And whoever they were with before, there's no more chances with that person. You're, the relationship is over. This person is calling to tell you that they're in love with you. They've been thinking about you. They want you to know how much they care about you. And whoever they were involved with was a grim reaper. And that relationship is over. There's no more shots, no second chances with that other person. And they're changing and transforming their life. Okay. Okay. Okay, yeah, the person they were connecting with was like a girl with a snake. That was a very toxic relationship, girl or a guy with a, with a snake. That was a very toxic relationship. Empath and narcissist paradigm, being charmed or used, enabling boundaries. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Okay, so you might know this person. You might not know this person. This could be somebody new coming in here <clears throat> Virgo but I can tell you right now this phone call that's coming in um, if you knew they were with someone what the heck if you knew where they were with someone um, they're telling you that it's over if you don't know um, if you haven't met them yet they're letting you know that holla um, they're single and free and they're interested in you and they want to get together with you. Okay, now the Page of Swords and, ooh, I'm hearing, um, will you choose me? Will you choose me? I'm choosing you, okay? Somebody's got their eye on you here, Virgo. Could be a Gemini, could be an Aries. Uh, somebody's watching you. Um, okay. Um, so there's curiosity, there are questions. Um, this person is going to ask you um, if you love them, or if you or if you are interested to connect with them or be with them. Okay, they're going to ask you. They're going to ask you if you're with anyone, if you're seeing anyone. Okay, um, there's a decision here. This per see, this person is, is curious, like, well, they want an answer. They're going to ask you, not only express their love, but they want to answer. Oh, look. Okay. Oh, there's the Virgo card. So either this person is a Virgo or they have Virgo in their chart somewhere. Um, 
I kind of feel like the it's phone call and then a text. There's going to be communication starting with this person. Look at you, Virgo. You're going to be like looking down at your laptop, looking at your phone. Like, I don't know how to answer this. I don't know what to say. Or just looking at it for a minute <laughs> before responding or before saying anything. Okay. This person is like, they're, they're going to be waiting to hear from you or hear response to a question. Um, if you are either seeing somebody or if you're dating anyone or if you're interested in going out with them or um, connecting or meeting somewhere that two of wands makes me feel like you know like uh, your choice wherever you want to go I'll meet up with you okay um, this person comes in though um, they're showing up like very um, stable <laughs> very stable financially independent thoughtful somebody who's very thought they think before they speak okay very patient inspiring kind of an energy male or female energy okay money money all around this person success financially independent prosperous um, this person has high social status or is a social butterfly I feel like that high social status means this person is possibly well known okay they may not be popular but they're well known all right very mature okay let me see what else is going on here this is an interesting reading you guys seriously okay what are the options what are the options here virgo um i feel like this person is probably gonna say the grass wasn't greener on the other side <laughs> now this is somebody that you were connecting with before um this person is coming in like very i don't know if it's remorseful but i feel like it's kind of like well i made a mistake right if you knew this person i thought i thought something was over i thought we were done and you know i went with somebody else and that person was evil the grim reaper was just going to try to kill me you know they were charming but there it was a very toxic connection between the two of us and i'm not going back to that person that's over maybe they were married to them or in a long-term relationship with them and it's or something and it's like no that's done so whoever this person was connecting with that's done All right, what other messages are here for you virgo i feel like this person is going to be waiting to hear from you look four of wands are you kidding there's a reunion okay for some of you this is somebody that you definitely know we're coming up with aries again um doesn't have to be i'm just calling out the signs here um definitely reunion holiday perhaps connecting during the holidays maybe a wedding get an invitation to a wedding or a party it's definitely it could be um could be a surprise party for some of you, this could be something to do around your birthday, but we'll have to see because you are showing up here, okay? If you're in August, an August baby, doesn't mean it's just only for August birthdays. It could be um, happy early birthday connection as well if you're in September. Okay, let me see here. This is um, an invite possibly to somebody's home <clears throat> or an event. Um, um, it could be a reunion, a wedding, like I said, a community, family coming together, um, teamwork. This is marriage. This is like, um, I feel like some of you are going to get invited somewhere or someone's going to try and throw a surprise party for you, but they're not going to tell you. That's like a little behind the scenes kind of thing. Okay, so now we have the Queen of Wands. Okay, so this could be a fire sign. Person showing up. They might be contacting your friend. Some of you might be on the cusp of Leo and Virgo. Okay, they could, or they could be contacting your friend or talking to someone about connecting with you. Okay, or inviting 
uh, being a plus one kind of thing. Uh, maybe they have a, for some, there, there could be like a friend or someone they know that's hosting a party or there's some kind of an event. And um, they say to, oh yeah, there's a, there's a wedding. Um, you're getting invited to, the, there's a couple getting married. Um, for some of you are getting invited to that. There's two people here. Now for some, you could be connecting with a Libra or um, yeah, a Leo. Let me see here. What's going on with this? Um, double date as well, I'm hearing. Meeting somebody's parents or brothers, sisters, a couple. Meeting a couple, connecting with another couple. Let's see. There's planning. Definitely planning. It's not just a love call. It's not just, um, I mean, it's, there's a lot behind this. Let me see getting to know each other perhaps oh okay so we have victory here okay for somebody i'm hearing uh september 7th might be somebody's birthday let's see overcoming obstacles somebody here is like there's travel okay i'll send a car i'll send a limo or i'll come pick you up or i'll come to, i'll come to you you come to me um there's definitely travel here Let's see. Interesting. Somebody might be showing up in a brand new car or a rental. <laughs> okay. I'll pick you up and take you with me. Yeah. So, so for some of you, there's some kind of an invite is what I'm picking up. It's not just love. It's like, would you be interested in going out with me? Would you be interested in connecting? Would you be interested in this reunion and getting together again and going somewhere together? maybe traveling somewhere or would you be interested in coming to meet my family um or are you are you and they're going to be waiting to hear back from you i don't know that virgo i kind of feel like you're gonna be like what i don't know how to answer this why i see you being very grounded but i i, I don't know i feel like it's kind of like maybe a surprise yeah it's like a surprise i feel like you're not going to expect this yeah look at you Okay, so you have the hermit like you're like oh my god these options oh Virgo the hermit is okay the seven of cups so this is like dreaming um this is like is this is this real life <laughs> is this real life is the anesthesia gonna wear off soon what's going on is this for real is this really happening why is this a surprise for you Maybe you knew this person. Maybe you knew them and knew that they got into a relationship and thought maybe something was over or something was done or found out they had another person and just gave up on it. But it seems like this is turning around. Okay, so here you are. Okay, somebody might be born in 1979. But here you are. Like, is this a dream? It's all just a dream. Do, 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 do. I'm thinking of um, they gave me that song from Nelly. It was all just a dream. So, oh my God, there's six of cups. So, returning to one's roots, grounding yourself. Is this really happening? Are, are my memories or these dreams or you know, is this like is this nostalgia or is this really happening or a, a reunion or connecting with this person? Um, double Scorpio, Virgo here. Is this really happening september 9th for some for some of you um it's a cancer july 9th okay let me see it's like do you you're so that's kind of like oh my god i can't even believe this judgment september 20th listen this is it you're like oh, i gotta think about this i don't know you're like is this for real or is this person gonna ghost me is this person, like, can I trust this? Is this person coming in with this judgment card? You know, it's like this renewal, reunion. So much of this, okay. Getting back together with someone or meeting someone for the first time and just kind of like, or maybe, I feel like some of you might have known this person. Now, right now, you might not know, and you may connect with them in August and then find out they have somebody else, 
and then it's like oh okay never mind it's just not going to work out i'm not i'm not chasing after someone that's already committed to somebody else and then it ends and then this person comes back in so remember just if it's not happening right now it could be happening further down throughout this month okay august 20th i'm hearing is going to be significant and august 20th is going to be significant there's going to be like a huge awakening like holy coming out of the woodwork forgiveness decisiveness and decision getting made so i feel like you might be communicating with this person before that but like the decision it's like okay we're coming out here we'll connect we'll connect i'll connect with you we'll connect okay so virgo what's going on with this seven of cups why are you having to think about this so much all right let's take a look am i just an option to this person do they have multiple are they duplicitous do they have other options or is this person just picking and choosing whoever's available are they going to procrastinate and say we're going to do something or we're going to connect and then they don't am i like fantasizing am i dreaming is this all an illusion wishful thinking is it all in my head like you really go in for some soul searching here to see if you know like contemplate do you want to connect with somebody here and rather than just be all super excited virgo you're like wait hold on now hang on i gotta like i gotta check my checkers <laughs> i gotta fact check my checkers and make sure that i'm not gonna get ghosted or duped or this isn't some kind of a dream oh there's higher font oh it's not a dream you know is this person i feel like you're like is this person coming in like serious like seriously they're gonna follow the rules whatever your rules are if you have rules september 5th i'm hearing um is this person coming in like traditionally do they really want to have like th this traditional you know relationship and not be flaky and not um be someone who's just in and out okay what's going on with this person what is going on because something is ended with whomever they're with let's see how's this energy gonna play out okay oh they are so free like a free bird here single as a pringle ready for that new beginning this person's like spontaneous they're coming in very spontaneous just they're going to travel to you or connect with you go on this adventure okay uh, yeah freeing themselves up from some type of terror terroristic terrorist that they were involved with someone they felt like was a terrorist it gave them a lot of mental anguish anguish and grief and anxiety they put them through a lot of stress a burden some of you i know you know you're like i know who this is and good they deserve it okay um deep deeply unhappy this person's freeing themselves from this okay let me see yep this burden oh boy oh boy i feel like some of you um kind of like hmm i was waiting for the day for this to happen because i knew the person they were with was just a real shit stain and i'm not and they know it and I didn't think I'd live to see the day that this would happen. Okay, and here they come. Yep, page of cups, apology. Yeah, you're getting an apology. Okay, psychic messages. You might already be aware of this situation. You might already be getting psychic downloads. Um, this person's like crushing on you like none other. They really admire you big time. They may not have been able to get with you or connect with you because there was somebody else in the picture, someone else they were trying to get away from or a relationship they were trying to end, but there might have been some like strings attached. Yeah, it looks to me like this person is like, no, this is it. It's done. Never going back. Yep. 
They're very positive about that. Definitely. They're getting out. And they're coming to you. Okay? So, like I said, this is a reunion for some of you. Connecting with this person that you connected with them before. You somehow knew them in some realm before. And for others, this is someone that you're going to meet. And there's going to be like a little bit of a stagnancy. And I do feel like this person, um, you know, when you meet them going through August, they're really going to have a thing for you, but you're going to find out that, you know, they're with someone else and then break it off or they're going to break it off. But then it just kind of feels like this person, you know, if they're with someone else while they were talking to you, it pretty much is a sign that whoever they were with was like dead anyway, like it was done. Obviously, if they're talking to you, they just didn't have the courage or the, 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 cojones to do anything about it or say something to their person or find a way to end it okay but it looks like it's happening here or this is someone that you already knew about who was involved with somebody else or a hunch okay and yeah so listen virgo you're getting that call in august you're getting that i miss you um i'm really interested in you i'm thinking about you i want to connect with you um they may not, if some of you, listen, they may not tell you that they were with someone else, but trust me when I tell you, the grim reaper and the girl with the snake or guy with the snake is out the door, okay? The grim reaper, no more. That's it, it's done. The girl with the snake, that narcissist or that manipulator, okay? That person had no boundaries. Nope, walked all over them, treated them like dog meat. So that's done. All right. So let's see what your romance angels messages are. Okay. Someone's coming in here to make the effort. Oh, they're going to make the effort. This, you're a great love. You're worth it. And you're worth taking the steps that they're guided to take. Okay. Um, September 19th birthday. Picking up. Playfulness. Okay. There you go. Playfulness is like when you have that crush, when you meet somebody and you're giddy and you're happy and you're joyful and you want to play, you know, and you just want to have, you get, you feel that you feel youthful again when new love comes in or when a relationship starts and two people like each other, you know, it becomes romantic and then it brings out your youthful spirit. This person, you're going to experience this with this person. They get, um, very playful and happy and excited about you and they're kind of they trip over the words or they can't talk they're like a little like a little kid who has a crush on somebody you know you get they get real nervous <laughs> but they're playful so they're, they're they're giddy and happy they show very like happiness and joy to talk to you uh, and especially if you will give them an opportunity another chance okay because there's no second chances for another person that they were with okay so yeah this person is keeping a very open mind um you guys there's differences between the two of you <clears throat> your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations and this is coming from them so they see you there's um some differences about the two of you or there isn't hmm you may not be their usual type and that's something that uh, maybe they're used to these toxic types of people but there's something very different about you you're not like that okay um i mean hell you're a virgo you have your moments right but um no you're not you're not cruel you're not a manipulator you're real and you're honest and you're truthful and very grounded and you're very intelligent and and that's the difference okay you uh that's how they see you now if it's not that kind of difference it, it could be um religious differences you could have geographical distances you guys could have cultural differences i mean you just name it whatever whatever differences there are it could just be as simple as like one person has dark hair dark eyes and dark skin and the other has light hair light light eyes and light skin right it could just be anything it could be like one person some of you might have one green eye and one blue eye okay it's just there's some difference something unusual but very unique and special about you and them okay 
He just thrown some cards at me. Dragon. Tiger. Dragon again. Snake. Hala. Okay, we have a pig. We have a monkey. This person might have said to you, oh, okay, you're different. Hmm. <laughs> we have a rooster. Double monkey. There's a horse. There's a rabbit. Did I say tiger? Because we have a tiger. I don't know if I said tiger. Tiger. There's a double rabbit. And we have an ox. Okay. And then they just gave me a dog. Hold on. Now they're saying, okay, now we have the year of the rat. What the heck? They want me to keep going? That's like all of them. <sighs> Seriously. Okay. Year of the goat. So let me see what other messages here. You know what? I want to see what your, like, what's your full on energy going to be here? I'm not going to go into an extended. I'll try to go into that tomorrow. Um, but let's see what your full on energy is going to be in response to all of this. Okay. Because this person's coming in like they want to ready to go all the way. I mean, they may not be like super, super aggressive. I don't see aggression, but I do see they're going to ask you if you can connect or if you can like, or invite you somewhere. Now, let's see you, Virgo. What's going on with you? Okay. Hmm. Queen of Wands. Are you sure it's over with that fire sign or that other person? That's That's what you're going to, that's your, that's going to be your mission here before you say yes. You need some proof or you want something that's going to make you be convinced that whoever they were connecting with that that's done okay um now they just said that whoever they were connecting with was lying possibly cheating there might have been infidelity so i feel like for you um yeah <laughs> is it done that's what you're gonna find out okay have you abandoned this person have you walked out are you done with it um and if they don't tell you about this situation, you are going to inquire. You are going to ask. We're, we're, you know, if, if you don't know about it and they're coming in, um, you're going to inquire. And you should. You got to vet people. Like, you got to ask, are you married? Are you single? And then you, you got to, like, they got to show it. Because a lot of people, you know, it's unfortunate. But, you know, people catfish all the time. You know, if you meet somebody online... Get to see them immediately. Don't stay online because you will get catfished. Even if you're even if you're video calling each other, you still don't have enough information. You got to get all the information. Like you got to see this person in their day in and their day out. Yeah. Are you done or you, like what's going on? Okay. All right. What do you and now Virgo? I swear. You know what? You cracked me up. Okay. Are you coming in with like? Mr. and Mrs. Lust, and you're just trying to hit it and quit it? Uh, I see you asking questions. Yeah. Because <laughs> you're not coming in. I feel like Virgo, you're like, you know what? If you're trying to have a, like, Virgos don't play. If you're trying to have a relationship with me, okay, um, I'm going to shut this down almost immediately. Like, if you're rushing in to be this way with me, lusty, like, too quickly, way too quickly i'm going to take that as like you're an abusive narcissist <laughs> and i'm going to look at you like okay you're not serious if you're willing to sleep with me the first night um without trying to talk and get to know me and spending a little more <clears throat> a little if you're not trying to spend some time with me first i'm going to think you're coming in as like a narc and that you're just trying to get a little something something so you're on guard i feel like you're on guard a little bit okay feel like you're gonna be okay yeah cause until you have all the information there's judgment everything out in the open virgo's not playing virgo's not playing lay it all on the table you give me your transparency and i'll give you mine you tell me everything you show me you tell me i want to see what's in that closet i want to see what you're hiding under the desk i want to know and i want you to show me <clears throat> that whoever you were with that this is done and, and, but I don't feel like you're being mean and I don't think you're putting somebody under the hot lamp and interrogating them like all the way uh, until they're scared to death and running out the door Virgo you know you can get that way no I just think you're gonna ask questions this time you're gonna vet a little bit you're gonna be vetting yep 
and I want to see what the what talk to me about your opportunities or these ideas or the plans right like what do you want to do like what are, what are you looking for where are you with things right now yeah so you have that energy going on and that's cool I like the way that's showing up for you okay you're not you're not being too off-putting but you're you know you're standing your ground you have your boundaries and that's good because you got to right you got to all right let me see what your moon messages are here okay don't let your past hold you back virgo don't let your past hold you back whatever what did will smith say don't let the past person uh, don't make the new person pay for what the past person did and if this is your past person and you're going to start over don't continuously punish them for the things they made if they're coming forward and they're trying to make amends and have this reunion try to make something work with you and you want to give them a chance then you got to reconcile everything with the past if you're going to start fresh but the energy is going to be gaining momentum here it's time to take action okay new moon in aries um i feel like this don't let your past hold you back is specifically more specifically for those of you who have aries in your south node and if you don't know that look it up okay new moon in sagittarius luck is on your side okay this is beautiful i feel like this thing is going to work out i really do i feel like this i feel like somebody's coming in here and um they are going to be honest open and honest with you let me see i just want to get a couple more messages no, I don't. I want to do the charms. All right, let's take a look and see. Give us more information who this might be. So we have Pisces, Sagittarius, we have Scorpio, we have double Sag. All right. And let me get a couple charms and then that's it. Okay, somebody's birthday is June 14th. Okay. <clears throat> Somebody's 26, 25 turning 26. All right. Uh, let me see. Okay. They're giving me August 28th. Somebody's birthday is August 28th. Somebody's born 1964, uh, 1981. Um, somebody is 40 years of age or will be turning 40. Okay. Um, all right, so we have Saturn. Okay. Maybe Capricorn. Capricorn energy. Oh. We have a star. And this has a saying on it. Hold on. Just for you. Ah, <gasps> the star. The stars and the planets. Oh, I just heard. I would give you the moon and the stars. And also there's um, an airplane here. So there's a flight. There's a trip. Somebody's taking a flight, going on an airplane. Okay. Um, flying up there in space with the planets and the stars and the moons. Absolutely, there's a trip. So somebody's coming in on a plane, arrival or departure. Uh, someone's going to Paris or is coming from France or Texas. What is this thing? Okay. This looks like, you guys, this looks like an elephant. So there, um, there's some, someone might be from South Africa or maybe India or they're Afri African or Indian and then love. Oh my goodness. And this Eiffel Tower is really giving me a sense of like, you know, Paris, France is so romantic. This feels like romance. This feels like, um, Maybe flying to France. I want to let's go on a trip together and take you on a trip. Are talking about that? Um, this love was made for you. That's what I feel like's going on here. I'm hearing like you are worth it. Oh my goodness! Now, just remember, you guys. Let me just tell you: these roles could be reversed. Some of you could be getting out of a toxic relationship and reaching out to someone in August and telling them you know i'm done with that that's over it's done that person's a real shit stain and you know what i'm coming in with bloody stumps to show you 
that I want you and I'm thinking of you and I love you okay and you know whoever that's for that specific message let me just get a couple more little messages here to see what else Virgo needs to know and then we're gonna get done somebody might be a pilot okay um, somebody just bought a new Tesla I just heard that somebody just bought a new Tesla okay yep there's a devil card so there is a little there might be some Capricorn here but this message I don't know who if it's for you or this person or it's coming from something's got a hold breaking this chain is what's happening right now uh, healing which doesn't happen overnight facing fears praying for guidance and asking to be lifted out of something this is a time of deep struggle but you're not alone okay and a deeply loving male is coming towards you male or female very lovely this person is deep love deep emotions very kind gentle very loving spirit that's why we have love call okay it's not just a business call this is someone who is in that deeply loving energy male or female energy sharing affection expressing emotions and feelings towards you or that's going to be you being that way with somebody else whoever this person is all right and here you go the chariot cancer energy this deeply loving person could be um well whatever sign they are coming forward uh affectionate as in a water sign okay so there could be a water sign so time to go get that gps set and take off you know where you're going and how to get there now it's time to go don't waste any more time just do it go after what you want no hesitation blockages are now being removed for some of you highly logical male or female this could be an air sign gemini libra aquarius but the blockages are being removed which means that there's no traffic there's no stops you're just free to go so the time and this person as well everything is lifting is what i feel like is happening here for love beautiful a reunion with someone or somebody new coming in and then there's a little bit of a hiccup and then things take off later so it's lovely i love it great 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 reading i can't wait to get this out to you guys all right so i'm going to leave that there for you and i will see you guys tomorrow also don't forget go over to my other channel moon pie tarot there's a collective reading that i already posted up there and uh yeah then you get some double messages all right you guys see you tomorrow bye